What's up, guys? Malaria on here. Right now, guys. Right now. We're just gonna be playing some undercards. Yeah, underwhelming, isn't it? I did make two decks. My Justice is clearly my favorite. Look how souped up it is. Like it, damn it! I mean, obviously, you could see the cards. Two Scarf Mouse, you know, multiple negates. <laughs> like, I'm talking like I'm in Yu-Gi-Oh! or something. <laughs> like, multiple things that says, like, SILENCE! I have I as, like, a techie choice. Like, if I want to see what's in my opponent's hand. Like, if I don't... Like, in this game, you never want to trust your opponent, so... So, seeing what's in their hands, so you don't have to trust them, is really nice. Coffee Man negates, negates, negates. Lauren. I found that three was a bit much, and, like, Lauren is very good in this deck. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. I just don't run it at three. I run two Trainer Timmy, because, like, this is an Arcane Scepter build. My build is an Arcane Scepter build, so Trainer Timmy... Comes in real handy, and I wasn't seeing it enough at once, so I bumped it up to two. Three, Jester. If you could run more of these, then I would run 25 of them. <laughs> I would literally just run 23 of them and two of another card. Which I can only run at two, seeing as it's a rare, seeing as it's an epic. You can only run one legendary. Not one legendary in their deck, but just one copy of that legendary, of that specific card in your deck. Like, one copy of that one specific legendary. Basically, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why I like to compare the game a lot to Yu-Gi-Oh. Because it does have a lot of parallels to Yu-Gi-Oh. It does have lots of parallels to Hearthstone as well. Main, it's actually mainly Hearthstone, with a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh mixed in there. Like, the cards don't get swapped out at all, like, they actually keep their effects, they don't actually swap them out for any particular meta, that's similar to Yu-Gi-Oh in a lot of ways, and I, I compare it to Yu-Gi-Oh a lot, and Hearthstone and Yu-Gi-Oh are mainly what this game is based off of. I could tell it's partially based off of Yu-Gi-Oh because of how it works, not because of the mechanics are based off of Hearthstone. But the way you used it, but like the way, like, basically, you know, basically it functions like a ban list in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like the ban list functions like Yu-Gi-Oh, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I accidentally took a card out. Oh, a jester, I could just replace that, put that back in. <laughs> it's a bit of a mistake on my part, but it's okay. If I can fucking find it again. <laughs> there he is. I know you guys are probably screaming, man. He was right there the first time. I know. I know. Alright, Snowden Sign. Again, it's an Arcane Scepter build. We want as much spells as possible. Because spells are good. Multi Shot. Should I have to explain why I put Multi Shot in a Justice deck? It makes your effects trigger multiple times. And Multi Shot, if you could run three, then I would run three. But you can only run two because it's an epic. I like how they use it, the fact that it's like a certain type of card, the rarity, as a balancing kind of type of thing. Where like, they can make some of the one ofs like Sans. Like, I'll just show you Sans right now. Sans is stupid powerful. Imagine if you can run like two or three of them in a deck. Imagine if you can run three of him in a deck. You can only run one because it's a legendary. You can, you can only run one specific copy of Sans. But you can still run things like Neo and EX. But you can still run things like Neo, Undyne, or Undyne, or both. Why not? I mean, I have both. Azrael Dreamer wins games, so there. So we have him. We have Azrael because Azrael just wins games. Honestly, this thing needs to be nerfed. Honestly, I think some of these cards can actually just be, like, Lauren can just straight up be power crept by another card and it would be okay. Like, power creep, I feel, needs to happen. I want to ask you guys, do you guys really think that power creep needs to happen? I'm getting off track. Anyway. Red bird, again, more removal. This thing's actually for removal. Three, how to crap jester for negate. 
I have one headshot. I never needed two because I already have Redbird. And there's a spell focus build, meaning I could potentially get multiple copies of headshot. In fact, I tend to do that. In fact, I tend to either roll, it tends to roll good cards for me. Like, Freeze is always gets good roll off of Arcane Scepter. Obviously, the best roll to get off of it is Fortune. Because if you play something like, say. Basically, if you play a low-cost spell, you can potentially get your money back and more. In fact, you're going to be basically getting, like, more gold out of it. I call it money. The mana is now gold, and you can have as much of it as you want. So, one turn, you can literally just spam the field like Yu-Gi-Oh! But you do have to wait like in Hearthstone, but in one turn you could theoretically spam the field like in Yu-Gi-Oh. So there is that. The cards do t affect sometimes, some of them take inspiration from Hearthstone, I can tell others actually took inspiration from things like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, you would, like, basically card advantage matters more in this game than it would in Hearthstone. But having weaker, like, monsters also matters in this game, like Hearthstone, and unlike Hearthstone, more card advantage will actually matter more, basically it takes the good from Yu-Gi-Oh, the good from Hearthstone, some of the bad from Hearthstone, and none of the bad from yu gi -Oh. I'm not getting copyrighted. Okay. I have the music playing because it's soothing, it's calming, and it just sounds good. Forgot to turn on the sound. There we go. I don't need the sounds and jiggles, I just prefer this kind of music. That's not.
also being forced to attack in more coffee way while I attack this mission. Oh, right, he negated it. <laughs> he just negates it anyway. It's just, it's just a negate it anyway. He wants to just draw another card. Draw another card! So, the server is going to restart in 12 minutes.